is general reading. This may or may not resonate. Okay, if it doesn't, check out your other placements. If you need a personal reading, all that information is going to be below. Nice. Someone's opening up, coming towards you with love. That's a love offer. That's commitment. Uh, someone wanting to open up and express themselves emotionally to you. Could be someone who is not wanting to be vulnerable or someone who is uh, not wanting to open up, procrastinating and missing opportunities because of that, you know, with you. But now they're ready to open up and they're coming towards you. Wow. Ready to balance out the situation with you with the six of pentacles here. Could be a one-sided situation in the past, okay? But now they're coming in to restore balance between you guys. Equal exchange of emotions, equal exchange of whatever. Emotions, communication, energy, feelings, everything. Ready to give you what you deserve. They know what you deserve and they're ready to come in and give you that. That's a cool event today. That's lovely. And what else? Nice. You've been wishing for this for a very long time, Gemini. Yeah, the wish come true. Your emotional needs are going to be met. And with the three of pedicles here, you guys look like you guys are going to reconcile if you guys have been on a break. But otherwise, this is someone who wants to take things to the next level, okay? Your pentacles here, emotions too. <laughs> Someone's not only offering you emotions, but they're also going to offer you a lot of stability, a lot of growth. Three of pentacles is let's build, let's talk, let's work this out together. And you've been fishing this for a very long time, okay? It's coming in. It's coming in. It's all coming in for you. Ready to build with you and create a strong foundation. And this could be after an ending, but with the death here, this is ending of a chapter, okay? Ending of something that was very painful. The death is a very good call. Why? Because um, it can be scary, all right? But the death is definitely letting your old belief style, letting an old pattern die, which was very toxic, which is very negative. I think your relationship is going through a huge transformation and this is going to be a big surprise for you, you know. This person's coming in absolutely changed, you know. That's huge changes. That's like a rebirth, you know. This person's letting the old die. Maybe this person was resisting and ending to something in their past or this person was just not ready to change because they wanted to stay in their comfort zone. They're coming in with that change. It's going to be a huge leap, you know. 180 degrees flip. King of Swords, you have clarity coming in, guys, with the King of Swords here. What I'm getting here is that either you have clarity coming in or when this person approaches you with these emotions, right? I think with the King of Swords here, you're going to be in that very um, logical stance. You know, you just want to deal with facts, logic, okay? You don't want no bullshit. You're going to cut through that bullshit with that King of Swords here. You're in your right state of mind. You demand respect and you know what you want and you're not get, going to deal with this emotionally at all. No more emotions. Although they're ready to come in and offer you an apology and, you know, like they're like ready to talk it out and work it out with you. But with you, it's like, you know what? We need to sit and talk, uh, sit and talk this out. No, no more coffee dates, etc. This is like sit on the table right in front of me and what's the next plan? How genuine are you going to be with? You're not going to be emotional with this person at all. It's like their approach is emotional. Your approach is going to be like, dude, don't even get started. I mean, I know how you are in and out of my life. And I'm not here to entertain any of the bullshit anymore. So, yeah. If I don't like what you hear, if you're not going to give me the truth, if there's any kind of manipulation, I cut you out. I'm done. Bye-bye. Eight of Cups, looks like you're walking away from this relationship. Yeah, see, that's what I said, right? You're cutting this person off. Probably it's a wish come true for you, okay? But for you, probably things have ended. And now with the Eight of Cups, you're right, wanting to walk away because this is a relationship that's just not keeping you happy, okay? It's definitely walking away from something or someone that does not make you happy. You could have tried and tried. You've reached the Eight of Cups. But remember something. The Eight of Cups... Ten cups, the ten of cups, okay? So you're very close to that emotional person. So what I see it is as, before you get to the ten of cups, right, there is this temporary emotional turmoil. There's this temporary time when you need to 
cut the emotional cord for time for a moment okay because when you walk away with the eight of cups right that's when your ten of cups come i don't know it, that that's just how how you look at it okay like from the eight you're progressing to the ten <laughs> you're not wanting to go back reverse you're going forward that's what i like about this that's what i like because see with the, that's what you're doing i could have said this is them but i didn't feel this is them i feel this is them and i feel this is you who's like you know what no more no more let's just be very logical about this let's be cold to that and let's see things for what it is let me call you know a duck a duck and you're ready to walk away okay because you're like you know what it's not working out you may come back to me and you may want to work things out with me but am i ready for it you know or probably you're the one who's completely changed by the time this person's come in <coughs> maybe this offer is going to make you happy emotionally but when it comes to literally taking that offer up i guess you're just going to be like you know what i don't think so maybe it's just too late tell me more please tell me more what is for gemini and love queen of pentacles yep do it this person sees you as marriage material okay this person definitely sees you as marriage material they want to offer you commitment they want to offer you something stable something committed something secure um they sees you as that this you is a very nurturing practical woman okay and that's exactly what you're doing this can also be then you know coming in with that clarity but how they see you is the queen of pentacles they see you as someone who they definitely want to get married to they want to have kids with who someone who can take care of their house but whatever's happened right it's leave you bare it's, it's left you very backstabbed and betrayed okay so yeah there's been a painful ending between you guys something ended badly and probably you're very focused on your work yourself building on your stability your security your career goals etc but that's how they see you they see you in good light they respect you this they respect you they put you on a pedestal i like that very much they respect you and that's something that's stressing the shit out of them because you are very focused you're probably even cutting them out walking away and with the nine of swords you have a lot of remorse and regret why did i work this out before <laughs> yeah they have a breakdown right now okay they're trying to cope they're trying to cope they're very isolated there's a lot of mental exhaustion okay they're going over the same things again and again that happened in the past year and a lot of regret they want to turn back the clock basically you're like no i'm too focused on my work you're not even focused on this relationship anymore probably with the three with the six of pentacles here i feel you're choosing to give yourself that stability okay you're working on yourself probably in a partnership probably you want that equal give and take you're the one who's wanting balance in this relationship and you're like if i'm not getting it here that's fine i'm okay on my own i'll find that stability somewhere else and that's what's putting them in that deep regret okay um they're very intimidated by you by the way they can't cope with this Yes, anxiety, like mental anguish, you know. <sighs> the devil, yeah, a lot of obsession here. Nine of Pentacles. You're okay on your own. That's what I'm saying. You're okay on your own. They see you stable, secure, financially abundant. They see you as someone who doesn't need them anyways. Okay. Maybe you've always been the one who's always gone back to them. You know, like take me back or let's get back. You know, trying to fix the situation. But this time, they don't see you as the one trying to fix things. They see themselves as the one who's coming in and trying to fix things. But you don't. You're not budging. And they're obsessed with you, with the devil here. Probably even you know that. You know what the devil here I also feel that you know you're addicted to them too. It's like a habit, you know, this relationship has become like a habit, you know, and you probably believe that there is no way out. So there are chances that you would also want them back. You're trying your best to stay away from this person, walk away, but I don't know because with the devil here still in the energies here, it's a relationship where you know it's like stuck in a rut and it's going nowhere. You know, you could have ended things with this person with that here, okay? You ended this chapter with this person, but again, they're not ready to accept this situation, okay? There could be a negative pattern again that is that is likely to repeat in the near future. So it is very essential that you remember, you know, uh, you know, 
like the temperance card, right? You need to survive this influence. You need to save yourself before it's too late. Okay. So if this is a very toxic relationship, be very mindful about that. Okay. Again, I do feel that you're walking away, but again, with the nine of cups, you're very emotionally dependent on this person. Let me tell you something, guys. The moment there is a dependency on something, anything, one second. Yeah, so the moment there is a dependency, this is attachment, okay? Attachment blocks the flow, okay? Attachment is like a form of fear in some sense, okay? It's like a barrier. You need to understand when when attachment grows on you or you feed it, right? It becomes possessive, it becomes restrictive, and it becomes violent, okay? You have to, you have to let this go if you are feeling so attached to this person, okay? If the moment there is the dependency on a person or a thing, there is a subtle fear that comes with it. What if I lose this person? Okay, so there are chances that you're very much in love with this person. You're trying your best to, to you know, uh, get the situation from a more practical and more grounded manner, leaving your emotions aside. But we do have the Nine of Cups and that's something I can't deny. You may even want to walk away, but the Nine of Cups is that emotional dependency on this person. When you come in, it, it just makes me happy. Okay, so that's just something I want to put out there. What is the outcome for Gemini this week? What is the outcome for Gemini this week? Empress, wow, I love this. You're okay on your own with Empress here. There is a lot of potential for growth and expansion within this connection here, but the devil needs to go. The devil needs to go. You've done your part, okay? Look with the Ten of Cups here before I do that. This person wants that happily ever after with you. Again, Empress, Queen of Pentacles, they're almost the same. Almost the same. Growth, abund abundance. Uh, you know, they see you as uh, probably you have a family or probably you're taking care of the family and they find that very attractive. But definitely they see you as someone in good light. They respect you a lot. Okay. Tell me one more card for the outcome. They want commitment marriage with you. Give me one more card for the outcome. One more card for the outcome. Okay. <clears throat> they came out together. So we're going to take that. So we have the world with the sun here. You guys know what that means, right? That's a lot of happiness, clarity, illumination to some facts. You've not been, if you've been left in the dark, there is a lot of clarity coming in for you guys, communication coming for you guys, something that's going to make you very happy. And to the world here, you've successfully completed a chapter of your life, okay? This is endings, but this is also new beginnings, right? Which means that there is a new chapter opening up for you guys, okay? And that is going to bring a lot of growth, expansion, and abundance for you guys, okay? But the entrance also does mean a marriage commitment, okay? And the world also means taking things to the next level within your relationship, okay? And with the sun here, I cannot deny that things look super, super, super cool for you guys. I love this reading, Gemini. So, just to top it up, uh, there is someone coming in for you, okay? Who is probably commitment full. They're ready to commit to you. They're ready to open up with you. They want marriage commitment with you. Ready to work with you. Ready to put in the same effort that you always wanted. But with the devil here, there is that energy of toxicity within the relationship, which means that there are chances that there could be a negative pattern that is still involved. Or this is someone who is very, very obsessed with you or you're obsessed with this person. Detachment needs to be practiced from both the sides or at least one side. Maybe you're the one who's very attached to this person, okay? That's why every time they come in, begging that they want to get back, okay, and this time they're going to be fine. You take them back because you're so attached to them, right? You have that fear of losing them. Or probably this person is very obsessed with you, right? That they're attached to you and they just cannot, you know? Um, they don't have that sense of being okay on their own. That's a very codependent energy. So be very careful about that, all right? That devil needs to go. We don't need to see that in your spread this time. But, um, yeah, but the outcome does look good. So, yeah, with the sun here, the world here, and the empress here, right? You do what's good for you, okay? You keep doing you, focus on yourself, take care of your health, take care of your body, take care of your mental growth, your energies, etc. Whilst things will, work, things will work out for you behind the scenes, okay? But that looks good. They have a lot of regret. If you're asking me, they have a lot of regret about whatever happened. And they want to turn into a new leaf. So that's what I have for you, Gemini. That looks nice. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Leave your comments below. Like, share, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.